Hello and welcome to this quick tip setbit tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to use normalize.css on your website. The reason you want to use it is because that if you take this uh, website, this is just an image with a width of 100%, but as you can see there's still some margin at the sides and at the top and at the bottom. And there's also many other reasons to use it, uh, such as uh, margin at the headlines and the paragraphs and so on. Uh, the way we uh, we use it is that we go to normalize.css uh, website. I will link it below. Um, we say download, Control A, Control C to save all this CSS code. Then we go to our text editor, open a new file, and paste it in. And let's save it as and go to our CSS folder and let's call it normalize.css then this is our website, the website you just saw before uh, with the earth image the, we have to remember to link to the normalize.css so just copy and paste uh, the thing you are linking to and let's call it normalize.css Remember to, if you save it other places, remember to, to, to make the right path. Uh, and it's also important to to know that uh, this should be at the top, because your CSS uh, style sheet have to override this normalized CSS. So if we save this now and go back to our website. You can see that the margin is gone because now the normalize.css are taking over instead of the browser. So I hope this uh, tutorial helped you and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe my channel um, if you if you liked the video and yeah, have a nice day and bye.